Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be opening, as you can tell by the title, more than 30 packs of new mystery packs. I actually have no clue what's inside the mystery packs, because I opened three packs, and from the third pack, I got an Amethyst, Kobe White, which I didn't pull before, so I don't know if he's new. So I actually have no clue which Opals are in the mystery packs. They didn't even advertise the mystery packs, they didn't even tell us anything, as you can see right here. There is the Triple Dead Online event, but I'm not going to be participating in that. I just don't think it's worth that Ben Simmons and LeBron aren't even there. And, uh, yeah, I just want to see, um, these packs are guaranteed. As you can see, I have 35 of these bad boys. So we're going to get right into it. Hopefully we'll pull an Opal, at least a Pink Diamond. For sure it'll be an L if we don't pull a Pink Diamond. As, but as you guys can see at the top right corner, we have 66k MT. So I want to see how much MT we can actually get by the end of this video. So let's get into the first pack. Let's see what we're gonna pull. An amethyst already. All right, that's a good start. Definitely um better than what I expected to see from first pack. Two for the 76ers. I have no clue who this small forward. That's Tobias Harris. Nah, it's Billy Cunningham. All right. Definitely didn't see it before in the old two packs. I already have him, so I'm just gonna quick sell him. No point in sending him to my auctions. He's an amethyst. Oh uh, yeah, Let's see what's next. A gold. I mean, a lot of these are just gonna be consumables. Probably I'm getting a bunch of contracts, a bunch of shoes. Hopefully, quick to the shoes. If we don't get any opals, but yeah, this probably won't take that much because I mean it is one thing, so we're not even seeing that much. But I actually do have a question, guys. Let me know. Do you guys think we're gonna be able to buy gold cards tokens again, like we were last year? As you guys can see in the top right, I actually have. 1,820 tokens. I just got 200 tokens from the triple threat uh, offline board. Not board, but reward. So, um, that's awesome. That put me at over 1,750 1750 tokens, which is what you needed to get a goat card last year. And if they do bring back goat cards, do you think they're going to put Kareem? Do you think they're going to put Kobe? Do you think they're going to put Larry Bird? Because I think people might be mad if they add the Kobe and Larry Bird to the, uh, to the, um, to the token market because I mean that was a lot of work. I spent 120 hours to get the token. So I mean we'll see what they do with that. And I mean so far we're not we're not good that we're not off to a good start. Yeah, it's a bronze too. It's not good. Hopefully uh we can heat up in a little bit. Get the in the beginning. But also, what do you guys think? What new token cards do you think to come up? We didn't get a new token update today, which a lot of people thought we were. So I just assume we're gonna get one tomorrow, and then we're gonna get a prime on Tuesday. Because, uh, I mean, last time we got a token market update, it was also on a Saturday, tomorrow Saturday. So I think it's just perfect. Everyone's hyped up for the new token market. So yeah. So far we're not playing anything good though. It's really bad. But anyways, like I was saying, who do you guys think? Who do you guys think the new token players are gonna be? Personally, I think we might see a um i think we might see a what's it called i think we're gonna see a zydrunius Eldaskis opal for sure uh because i mean we only got a diamond version of him and i think it's gonna be really good to see a better version uh since these aren't good i'm just gonna go to like right here and spoil this one see if this one's gonna be a gem oh you it's not good let's pull this one Thing that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get this um diamond consumable that I have right here out of the way that I got from the vault. Uh, let's see if we can pull a three point shoe or a contract. We do get a diamond contract, okay? So I'll take that. Uh, definitely better than the post scoring shoe. I would have cried if I got that, but yeah, along with the Titanus Ogaskis as an old bolt to the market reward. Um, who else could we get? Maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe we'll get like a Upgraded, um, an upgraded Vince Carter. We might get that. I don't know if we will. I mean, I don't think that'd be bad. I mean, we only have a, the only Vince Carter we have is like 37, 38 Hall of Fame. Right? So that's pretty trash. Uh, so I would for sure like to get a new one. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think who else would be good for the um, whole point of the market. Um,. I don't know, but the pink diamond for sure. Maybe we'll see a pink diamond with Jordan. I think that'd be pretty sick. 
Because we already got an opal, we already have a diamond. We don't have a diamond, diamonds. So I think that's important. Uh, maybe an opal brand in Ingram. Maybe, I don't know. For the token market. I feel like the, the place that they're going to go is not going to be that hype. Like, there's going to be like some hidden gems that people are going to like, kind of look over. And not really think that they're going to make a pick up. They really will be. But Jesus Christ, these packs are terrible. We're not getting anything from these mystery packs. They are free, but um, if anyone's curious, it's about like two hours to get these. Two hours to get like around 30 ish. So, uh, yeah, but it's definitely not worth it. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna back out of my team. We're gonna go back in. Cause these are terrible. I'm not getting anything yet. We'll see if maybe our pack odds will improve. As you can see, we only have six packs left. Kind of drained through them pretty quickly, actually. Definitely took me quicker than I expected. Um, yeah. So I mean, let's see if we can turn it around real quick. I hope we can. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible. Terrible if we can't turn it around. Um, this is definitely not the way I expected it to go. Jesus. Let's see if we can clutch it up quickly. We have three packs left. Let's go with the middle one. Let's see if this can give us anything. Huh. Definitely, last time they released mystery packs, I got way better stuff. Way better. Like, I got an opal. I got the Devin Bond. It's not that good, obviously, but I mean, it is an opal. This is our last pack. What are we gonna get? A diamond. Huh. Alright, that's a good way to end it, I guess. So let's see who it's gonna be. It's gonna be red. It's gonna be for rockets. Is this gonna be small forward? Who is that? Robert Reed. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's another quick sell if you like. Definitely not gonna have that much. Um, not that much value. And who is this new opal reward I have? Oh, I just got one. Got him from the vault as well. So I'm gonna quickly uh, quick sell Robert Reed so we can see how much of T we get. And then we have a bunch and then a bunch of shoes that we got from this. So um after I finish quick selling we'll see how much we have. Oh actually this is not the options. Another one bruh. Okay, so we're already at above the 70k range it looks like. Uh-huh. Hopefully we could get to 80k. I don't know why it keeps sending them to the auction house. It is I'll let you sell it. There we are. Trying to sell these as quickly as possible so we can get to the final MT count. But uh, yeah, I mean, so honestly, in my opinion, it's kind of an L. I don't think these packs were that good. I don't. I don't know what I expected. Definitely expected at least a pink diamond, or at least a good. I mean, there's not really that many good diamonds, but at least definitely for sure I expected at least a pink diamond. 35 packs. Definitely quite disappointed. That nice. That was that last. That last pack was definitely clutch though. Oh, I'm gonna call this a terrible L. Oh, uh, I don't think there's anything else. We just have a bunch of these shoes that I accidentally sent to the auction house. So, okay. Looking at our MT, we're gonna be at around that 75 and a half, okay? So we made, I think we made, I don't remember what was that before. Huh. What was that? Whatever. I think we made, um, like a, at least 10. I don't remember where we were at before, but we made some good profit in my opinion with playing but with playing triple threat online been more worth it after playing opening these packs Yes Definitely even though you're not guaranteed to get any of these players like don't expect to see a Blake Griffin or Derrick Rose honestly Um, Nonetheless LeBron obviously he's not gonna be there. So none of the expensive players are there But definitely the amount of tokens you get from online and the amount of MT you get from online Definitely makes it way more worth it, especially for like a normal player. For me, I just wanted to get my um, wins over with because I got 200 tokens and I got like 30 wins today. So I just played the quick 30 games. Took me like around two hours, two and a half. And uh, yeah, here we are. We got 200 uh, tokens. So now I'm above 1750, which is gonna be awesome. And I do need um, I'm 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 still gonna try to decide depending on who the opals are. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna get any of the um any of the two opals that they're gonna release, or if I'm gonna get a goat card. Cause if there's like no Kareem, um, then I'm definitely not gonna. I don't think it's gonna be worth it. I don't think it's gonna be worth getting like a Jordan or a Magic. Magic, I don't think it's six at all. 
Jordan, I mean, he's pretty good, but, I mean, my point guard slots weren't bad. I mean, I have LeBron and I have T-Max, so I'm happy there. Kobe, I mean, he's all right. I definitely like this Larry Bird. I want to upgrade. I'm definitely going to, if Kareem's there, I'm definitely going to sell. What's it called? I'm definitely going to sell Joel Embiid. And then with that empty emic from Joel Embiid, I'm going to buy the James Wiseman to put a power forward, move Kirilenko to the backup four. I, mean, I really like this Kirilenko card. I know he's really cheap. But for his price, I mean, 51 Hall of Fame badges. Um, 6-9. I did give him, did I give him a shoe? No. All right, I, thought, I thought he had a shoe. But definitely not a stat underneath 89. And he only has one stat that's 89. Everything else looks really, really good. His dunking could be get it better, but for the 90 overall driving dunk that he has, he definitely does slash a lot. So I'm really happy with that card. So yeah, I'm really excited. We'll see if tomorrow they release new token market cards. If they don't, I'll be a little disappointed, especially since we didn't get anything today. The um, the definitely this triple threat online event is pretty cool. I just don't think it's worth sweating, you know, for like a good hour, hour and a half. You know, because you're going to run against, like, probably going to run against, like, Goat Cream, the, like, a T-Mac type player with his jump shot, Opal Wade, or what's his name? If not Opal Wade, probably Anthony Edwards. So you're going to run into a lot of these comp lineups, definitely a lot of three-point hunters, and I just don't think it's worth, like, me personally, I don't think it's going to be worth me sweating with my team just for, like, a good hour, hour and a half, just to not even see Blake on the board. Who's like not even all good? He's not even like a hundred k MT because I know he's. I'm pretty. Let's check it out. I'm pretty sure he's a buy now. So let's see. Yeah, bro, he's under ninety k. Then Rose is the other opal. And Rose, I know too well. There's no way people are paying over hundred k for this Rose. Um. Yeah. Wow. He's under fifty k. And this one is even. This one's not even being bought. So definitely these two opals are really cheap. Um, not going to make anyone's team. Maybe the Blake will make someone's team. Not mine, personally. Uh, um, so, uh, yeah. I mean, I just don't think this is... Definitely, I mean, if you see any of the opals on the board, which is like... I doubt you'll see them. But if you do, I mean, good for you. I mean, that'll be a good, like, 30k MT profit if you see Derek Rose. Maybe, like, 60k, 70k if you see Blake. Definitely, I wouldn't... I would not use them unless you're starting off. Um, my team, and definitely all the other, uh, di pink diamonds, diamonds, everything is definitely not worth it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, that pack, um, that pack opening definitely did not go as I wanted it to go. But, uh, let me know if you guys want me to do something again. I mean, I could just push for the 100 wins to get, uh, Dominique. The only problem is that I have no clue how much time these, um, I have no clue how much time these, um, these mystery packs are going to take because they didn't even announce them. They didn't announce the, um, as you can see, they announced the triple threat online event, but they didn't announce the uh, mystery packs. From one, from what I heard, they're in any single player thing. So, I mean, if you do these challenges, if you haven't done spotlight challenges, you could do them. And after each win, you'll see a mystery pack. Or um, if you would play, obviously, triple threat offline, which is what I did, you'll see them. If you play domination, you'll see them. So definitely all those types of challenges. Anything single player, if you play it, you'll see a uh, mystery pack. And I don't know if it was a glitch, but I didn't get it at the end. But in triple threat offline, if your vault opened, you would actually get two mystery packs. Uh, that happened to me in the beginning, but towards the end, my last like three, four vault openings, uh, I only got one. Uh, I only got one mystery pack, even though it said you're supposed to get more. So that that was, I mean, that was whatever. I doubt I would have pulled anything. And uh, yeah, I mean, these these packs are pretty cool. It's terrible odds. It's the only problem with them. And it's really interesting that we actually have no clue what's inside of them. So, uh, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Bye.